Well done. Well done, Tejas Express. Well done. And here we are. On another train we go. So today we're going to be traveling from Mumbai all the way to Goa. But we're going to be doing so via a private train here in India. We have been doing a few train rides here in India and we've explored just normal trains where you can sleep. This one is going to be kind of like an executive train. And I think it's going to be quite fancy. First time we're experiencing a train like this while traveling. I'm really excited to see what the inside looks like. So we've come here to Chhatrapati Shivaji uh, Maharaj station on the south of Mumbai. If I said that correctly, I am super good. Yeah, that's a mouthful. But you should see how this train station looks like from the outside. It's really early in the morning, so luckily we grabbed pictures of it yesterday. But it is absolutely beautiful. I actually have no idea where to go, but the train that we are taking is called the Tejas Express. Such a fancy name as well. Oh, I found a signboard with our name on it. This train has at least got some signboards. <laughs> we don't need to ask a whole bunch of people that struggle to speak English. There we are, train 22119, the Madgeon Tajes Express, uh, platform 17. Gotta go to platform 17. There it is, there's 17. Maybe we should see if any of these shops have snacks for us. Yeah. It's gonna be about an eight hour journey, so I definitely think we're gonna get hungry along the way. Yeah, snack time. Um, what snacks are we getting? Uh, chips, biscuits, I don't know, cold drink. It's not like we can really get something to heat up on the train, but if we are hungry, I know they do sell food on the train, but we'll have to see what that's like. Hi, how are you? Can I please get Hi. one Mirinda? One Mirinda. Yeah, one Mirinda, one water. One water. And uh, two packets of cream and onion chips. Cream and onion. Here you go, my friend. You are from there? South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> and you from? Delhi. Yeah. yeah. UP, Uttar Pradesh. You from Bombay? No. UP, Wait. Uttar UP. Pradesh. Okay. Yogi oh, Baba Adityanath. Ah, uh, okay. Up north. Thank you, my friend. You're Thank welcome. you. Goodbye. Jai Shri Ram. <laughs> okay, we got snacks. Sleeping pods. That's pretty cool. Could have maybe spent a night in a pod here before catching the train if I had known that. That would have been a great idea. I have downloaded an app in order to test the speed of this train. Because it's an express train, that means it's a high-speed train. And they say it can go roughly about 160 kilometers per hour. So we're going to be testing that. Is that our train? I think so. That's a train arriving. This is the Tejas Express. A private and exclusive train. Oh! Oh my God. Okay, we can't look inside yet. Can't look inside yet. I'll look inside. Check this section. That looks nice already. Oh, that is definitely not our cart. Um, I got actually an SMS sent to me yesterday telling me what seat numbers I'm in. So I guess we just got to find somebody that can tell us where, where we're sitting. So here on the train, it actually says E1. I don't know if you can see that. And then here's the seat numbers. We are sitting on E1, 25 and 26. So I think this is our cart. I think this is our cart. Really? Yeah. We get to sit here? Yeah, we're going to sit there. That looks fancy. How cool is this train? It almost looks like I'm climbing onto an aeroplane. Oh, have we got a double? That is pretty cool. <laughs> so I guess we're going to have some guests over here with us. <laughs> got a table, which is pretty good. Might actually get some work done on this train. <laughs> There's just too much stuff. There's at least space. Well, this is not too bad. We've got some space here for our water. And a nice little table to work. We've also got a window. It's Ooh, pretty comfy. It's very, nice. very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Got a nice little headdress here. <laughs> this is luxury. Yeah, this is so, so comfortable. The seat can even go back. Let's see. No, no, no way. No way. 
there's actually a thing to lift your feet up. I just pulled a knobby thinking the seat would go back and my feet just popped up. Look at that. How cool is that? It's not lifting by much, but it's at least a little bit. If the table wasn't here, I think you could actually like put it in a full like recliner mode. That would be really cool. And then... Oh, no way. This is like a lazy boy chair. How did you do that? Train. <laughs> How did you do that? There's buttons on the side. Push a button. No way. There, lean back. Oh. Oh, yes. This is great. This is so good. A lazy boy chair inside a train. Yeah. Eight hours is going to go by very quickly. <laughs> yeah. The only thing that I've got a problem with is because we're in front of the train and we're facing yeah. this way, or the front of the train is that way, we are going to be going backwards the whole oh, entire journey. No. I don't want to go backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I think if there are some seats open, I might move to a row instead yeah. and not have the table. Yeah. As much as we love people, I really hope that nobody comes there. It would be weird trying to sit here and you just staring at someone. It's going to be like... Yeah. Who can not blink for the longest but over here they have some cup holders on the table they have a charging point over there so that you can actually charge something good for laptops and a good table so we really could get some work done here Actually. then up at the top they have some lights i don't think they work oh, there. oh that's a light it's got oh. over here this one's not working this one says a light and then this one says a call bell oh no don't press it <laughs> service, service. I think someone might actually come, but yeah, you can call for assistance if you need to. If I look at all the other places that people are sitting as well, it also looks like they have the charging points and the call buttons and lights. Oh, these people have a nice big window. And then, as you saw, we store our bags up here and then we have space for our feet. And we're off. <laughs> Goodbye, Mumbai. It's a quick and short stay. Yeah. Fun nonetheless. It looks like the train is pretty empty. So not a lot of people going to go at all. But I'm sure that we might stop at a few places on the way and pick up some people. But for now, we don't have people in front of us, which is amazing. Yeah, we have nine stops all the way there. And we're covering about a distance of 780 kilometers. <coughs> Hi, thank you. Uh, 25 and 26. Thank you. So they actually came around and gave us some water from a trolley. I hope they actually give us food later. We didn't book any food, but it would be great if they did. It says here on the bottle to book food, download a food on track mobile app. So I don't know if that's applicable for this train or if it's applicable for other trains. They said that you were able to get food on the train and that you'd be able to pay for it here. So I hope somewhere on the line we are going to get something because <laughs> I am starving. We have had no breakfast because we had to wake up so super early. So I hope they do provide us with some breakfast. Bye. When booking this train, you can't actually choose which seat you actually want to sit at. So this was just the luck of the draw for us. We just asked him if all of this is included in like uh, the ticket price because we're getting coffee now. I don't know when the last time we had coffee was, but this is such a treat. A guy came around with the cart and he gave us these sachets and even Mari biscuits. Like we have Mari biscuits back home and these are amazing. But it's been such a long time since we last had coffee and all of this is included in our ticket. Coffee on a train. Oh, that's yeah, actually pretty good. Life doesn't get better than this. It's actually really nice to sit here and sip some coffee. The whole cabin smells like coffee, which is absolutely amazing. And just watching the sunrise slowly but surely, it's a treat. There's our little sunrise. Okay, building, move. Thank you. It is a little bit murky, but it's alright. Must be cold out there. Hmm. Good snack. Oh, we are now about 160 kilometers, according to my app, just out of Mumbai, which is 20% of the way. 
and we are currently traveling at 88 kilometers per hour and we've reached a maximum speed of 110 kilometers per hour <laughs> now as i said earlier this train is capable of doing 160 so we'll see at the end of this trip if we are going to be able to have reached that speed during our entire journey we're also doing an average speed of 64 kilometers per hour which seems pretty slow but I think it's the stops in between that I actually bring in the average speed down. And of course, this wouldn't be a train review without looking at the toilets. So let's go and have a look how those look. Hello. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Ooh. Seems to be quite busy here. But here is the toilet. Oh, they have a basin over there. I have some soap over there. Let's see if the basin actually works. Yep, that's got running water. They have a mirror, so hello. <laughs> and then they have a little window here and a seated toilet, which is great. And of course, a bunker. So this train actually looks pretty good. The toilet looks good, smells good. There's no funny smells or anything like that. So if you had to use the bathroom, I give it a thumbs up. One of the better toilets here in the trains that we've tried in India. Oh, and I think we've stopped at a train station now to pick up some more people. They don't keep the train doors open like the other trains that we've been on, but it's pretty good. Oh, is this breakfast? Thank you. Oh, thank you. They've just provided us with breakfast. <laughs> I did not know this was happening. <laughs> we have some cornflakes. It's crazy. And a veg vanilla cake. And then inside here... Well, I really did not know we were getting food on this train and that's why I bought some snacks. I thought we were able to buy some food on the train or somebody would be walking on the train when like in between stops. And that's how we'd be able to get food, but I didn't know they were actually providing it. Oh, bread. So what, do I just eat bread? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna try this vanilla cake. Mm, that's yummy. It's sweet, but it's cake. It's good. It's a veg cake that they provided us. How do you get veg cake? I don't know, but it tastes like normal cake to me. Like a cupcake without the icing. Mm. This veg cake is good. Do you think I put the veg cake in the bread? I don't know what to do with the bread. You just eat the bread. They gave us no jam or anything. They gave us tomato sauce. I'm Maybe you put the tomato sauce in No, the I'm not putting that on the bread. <laughs> now seeing that we're actually getting food on this train, I'm very happy that we have a table in front of us. It's now starting to seem like an advantage. I have seen that the other tables, or that the other chairs, have tables that fold down, almost mm. like an aeroplane seat. But yeah. I'm pretty happy with this one. Yeah. Thanks, my friend. <laughs> oh, Yo, that is a good mustache. Eh? <laughs> Thank you. Did you see that guy's mustache? <laughs> Damn. It was even like curled up the Yeah. I, I need to get my game on over here. <laughs> so we have been provided milk now. Is that what I do with the bread milk? If you want to, go for it. I don't, I don't know what to do with this. You just eat it. <laughs> it's just bread. Eat the bread. I guess I'm just going to eat the bread. <laughs> they put like a sweet butter on this bread or it's sweet bread. Well, I'm still getting the aftertaste of my veg pancake, whatever this thing is. <laughs> my veg cupcake. Mm. You're actually going there, eh? Yeah. Putting some sugar on my cornflakes. Mm. Got the milk. They even given us a spoon. That looks good. When's the last time you had cornflakes and milk? Oh my goodness, probably as a child. I don't think I've had cereal much after that at all. Do you want bread? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with this? I'm just eating it. I'm happy. It's warm milk. Tanya Vart. Oh, mango, mango fruit juice. trick. I think I'll save mine for later. Anybody want bread? Do you want bread? 
You're obsessed with this bread. Why did they give me bread? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, I'm good. No. Thank you. No, no, thank you. So after all that, they've just given us an, an omelette. My God. I'm so full, so <laughs> I said no to my omelette. <laughs> Oh, no, we're going to eat all this stuff. You know it's going to be like lunch just now. Yeah, and then we're going to probably be fed again. Yeah, I did not think we were going to be getting so much food. I'm actually force feeding myself just to show you guys what the omelette looks like. Hmm. Enjoy. That's maybe what my bread is for. I haven't eaten my bread. You can have my bread. <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> I finally know what my bread is for. This makes so much sense. This is what I do. See, that what, that's what the bread is for. Mm. Good omelet. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Uh, no, thank you. They're definitely feeding us so much on this train. We're going to be rolling off of this train. Look. So the train has stopped just for a small stretch. They actually have a little store there where you can buy some stuff. Oh, it feels so good to stretch. Sitting for such long periods actually is not fun. <laughs> oh, sitting actually hurts. <laughs> just hope they don't leave me. They have automatic doors. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I think it's time to go. <laughs> you should have had a stretch. I'm lucky I'm on my aisle. And my legs can stretch pretty well here. We have been traveling now for about four hours. We still have not reached top speed yet. So hopefully in the next four hours we'll reach top speed. I want to see what it feels like to go 160 kilometers per hour. I'm really looking forward to going to Goa because it's like beach area. We've been in cities and like inland areas, so we haven't been to the beach this year. So I'm really looking forward to getting my toes in the sand. The other chairs actually have a screen. I don't know if it works. See, some of the people have climbed off the train, so now I can actually check the screen because ours doesn't have a screen. It's not really switching on, so I don't think this thing works. Ours actually is inside like this box over here and it's supposed to come out. But I don't know how to take it out. Gosh, you're really starting to pick up speed now. <laughs> you're, I can feel like we're going fast and according to the app, we're only doing 110. 110? Yeah, we just reached 113. So that is so far the fastest we have traveled today. Is 113 kilometers per hour and we've traveled so far 270 kilometers so we're like 33 percent of the way there if you want to know what the name of this app is it's actually <laughs> called uh, gps speedometer and we just reached a new top speed 128 and are currently traveling 106 uh, we're getting closer to that 160 kilometer mark but if you check this app it can actually even show you where the train has been traveling to so there's Mumbai and then there it goes down and then we're traveling all the way towards Goa right over there. That's good. We are now being served some soup seeing that it's 12 o'clock. Lunchtime. So basically it's just a plain tomato soup. That's good. I actually had no idea that we were getting food on this train which makes it like understandable why this is called a luxury train but we booked these tickets on a website called Exigo Exigo I'll show that right here on the screen but we just booked our tickets through there and it cost us $40 a person to go all the way from Mumbai to Goa I mean for $40 you do expect to get food but it never mentioned so on the ticket or when booking to think how much they fed us for breakfast can you imagine how much they're going to feed us for lunch? All I want to know now is what is for dessert. Thank you. Cool. We got lunch. And I have a date, seeing that we're sitting across each other. <laughs> I just decided to move this side because the people had gone and my neck was getting quite stiff looking to one side. So now I can see Danny without my neck hurting. <laughs> and it 
feels like we're in a restaurant, right? It does, <laughs> hey? We've got a whole bunch of things here. One, two, three, four, five with some uh, skimmed milk. Oh, it just went dark. We're in a tunnel. Okay, let's see what we have for lunch. Do we have bread again? Probably. What's this? It's probably like a paneer or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. It Ooh, is it like is. a, a non bread, not a non bread, more like a chapati. Oh, <laughs> we have rice. That's a lot of rice. And in here, oh, we got some alu. I guess that's either a pudding or a dal. Is it a sweet one? I don't know, I'll have to taste it. It doesn't smell sweet. Oh, I think it's like a butternut or gem squash or something like that. I think. <laughs> well, we saw there, it was quite flabby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, yummy. That's a doll. There's a curry in here. I don't want to lift it up, otherwise I'm going to mess it everywhere. But that looks good. And the last dish over here. I think here. it's going to be a butter. Oh, is that Ooh, a chicken curry? That's a chicken curry. Oh my gosh. It smells delicious. Really? That smells good. Look at that. That even looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. That is good. Well done. Well done, Tejas Express. Well done. I'm just interested to see what this is. It's almost like a, a jelly like texture from what I can see, but. I think that's supposed to be a pudding. It's sweet. Is it yeah. a pudding? I think that's a pudding. Oh. I have absolutely no idea what pudding this is. If you can see it and you know what it is, let us know in the comments below what pudding that is. I must say, I'm really happy to have these seats now. <laughs> We're sitting on one of those chairs, we'd be sitting next to each other, but now we can actually sit and talk like this. And there's so much space. Yeah. So if you want seats like this and you do find a different website through which you can actually book these tickets book 25 and 26 or even 29 and 25 then you'll have you and your friend partner wife girlfriend flus whatever, whatever you want will be right opposite you <laughs> it was very good thank you thank very you. good <laughs> what um uh, name of this Sira. Cedar. Cedar. Pudding? Sweet? Sweet cedar. Sweet, Sweet cedar. cedar. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now we know the name of the pudding. It's a cedar pudding. Yeah. And it was really good. Google, oh. what's a cedar pudding? What's a cedar pudding? Oh. <laughs> We've tried to Google it, but still can't seem to find it on the internet. So I don't know if I'm spelling it wrong, but if you know what a cedar pudding is made of, let us know in the comments below. Alright, so app update. We have so far been traveling for seven and a half hours and have covered a total distance of 490 kilometers, which is basically about 66% of the way. And our max speed is still 128, so I don't think we're going to be reaching that 160 mark that we were kind of hoping to reach. And we're almost in Goa. Awesome. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> We haven't been getting a lot of views like that. Mostly it's been bush. Like this bush. <laughs> but every now and then, oh, I thought we were maybe going to get some. You can see a little bit there. We get like this tropical oasis, and that is probably like the fourth time that it's popped up on this trip. <laughs> it's really, really pretty when you do see it, but that means we're getting closer to Goa. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's getting pretty empty. It is. It looks like we could practically have it to ourselves. Everyone's climbing off here at a train station in North Goa, but we're going to the south of Goa as it's a little bit more relaxed there and not like the party haven. And after eight and a half hours, we have made it to Goa. That honestly didn't even feel like eight and a half hours. That train was so comfortable and they fed us like kings. I mean, we didn't even touch our snacks. So we traveled a total distance of 565 kilometers with an average speed of 65 kilometers, but our max speed was only 128. So we did not reach that 160 that we were hoping to reach. Maybe next time, but let's go and explore Goa. <laughs>
Hello. Yeah, you see your face? Yes. Say hello. You say hello. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> Ethan. Is Ethan. your name Ethan, hey? How old is yes. you? Yes. Three years old. Three years old? Sure. Yes. Be clever for three, hey? Can you do a handstand? Handstand? A handstand. Half up. Give a half up. There we go. And a big explosion. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>